Hi Aries, thank you for viewing me today. Welcome to Searchlight Tarot or welcome back. My name is Elena. I am doing your general spread. You guys, I rarely do readings on Tuesday, but last night I kept thinking about Aries and I woke up this morning thinking of you and I thought, you know, I'm gonna do an Aries reading. And then I started singing a song and I thought, oh my God, this is gonna be a beautiful reading, Aries. The song I, I just, and I, I thought, why am I singing this song? And I felt Aries. So the song was, it's a beautiful morning and it's by the Rascals because I had to listen to it because I hadn't heard it in so many years. It's so old school. But it's telling me that everything is coming into fruition. Everything is about to fit is what I feel. I'm going to get some cards right now by June 2nd. And I don't even do astrology, so I don't really know where the placements are. But something in your life is going to make you feel like it's a beautiful morning. I can't sing. Sorry, I just have no voice. But let's get some cards for you. This is good for all placements for Aries spirit guides. Sun, rising moon, Venus for Aries. Strongest energies right now. If it sounds like something you are feeling or going through, this is your reading. Strongest energies around the sign of Aries spirit guides. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Handpicked. What would you like to show me for the sign of Aries? Current energies, this reading is for, for Aries, please. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Thank you. Okay, you guys, I have the devil under the deck, temptation. And I have solar plexus chakra, emotional withdrawal, and triumph towards your foundation and achievements all right this is what I'm going to say right now if there's something that you feel you're going through a mental conflict with because you become discontent and bored with things not moving I don't even know why I said that because here comes this card movement choices and decisions spirit wants to tell me it's time for you to leave the situations in your life that you really aren't chained to that keep putting you in a place of emotional disappointments whatever you're going through right now Aries whatever mental conflict you feel you're having like this is a two this is a two I just kind of feel like spirit is telling me that if there's a situation in your life right now that you don't know what direction you should go well if it's not making you happy spirit is saying be true to thyself and move forward and leave it behind move forward towards something new aries i mean literally triumph with the four of wands foundation and achievements they want you to if you guys listen to that song it talks about that going outside and realizing that oh wait a minute there's a sense of wonder again that's going to be your incoming energies. I just know it. Memories of love around you right now. I have the universe playing a big part with the things that you should feel connected to. Harmony. Boy, when we're in harmony, we're in balance. And I feel that this is about you making a choice to leave the situations that keep weighing on you. The, the people or things that just aren't healthy for you. They want you to, they want you to be true to thyself and, and haul ass forward towards what you want because you're coming into this energy in the incoming and I'm looking meaning you're gonna be singing it's a beautiful morning listen to the lyrics you guys uh, memories of love with the universe the universe I feel is trying to push you out of an energy where you've been holding on to certain things too long they want you to be back in harmony and you are going to be right around June 2nd I feel it and underneath that you guys have positive movement forward with big power the, the golden pillar all right I got to stop because I know it's gonna lead me into your incoming and I'm gonna do a different deck you guys hope you know this is the energy i felt with that song that right now if you've been going through any of this spirit wants me to tell you to start singing that song aries hold on to hope that you're going to be just outside again like a sense of wonder it's a beautiful morning you know it's time to go outside all right let's uh God, i feel this energy so strong today i'm going to look at your recent past a little bit mm -hmm. it's going to bring me right here there's always messages in our recent past things that just happen and i like to look seven of cups seven of cups is options choices decisions with the knight of cups king of cups i feel that two sevens okay i'm gonna stop seven of wands seven of cups knight of cups king of cups seven of wands is about you fighting for something and i feel you were fighting for something you wanted but with the seven of cups there you started questioning that you're making the right choice I know what I'm feeling. Recent past for the sign of Aries, please. Thank you. Just a little bit. Why are these here in their current? What do you want to tell me? Thank you. Just a little bit strongest. Recent past for Aries. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? 
seven of wands. Or the nine, I'm sorry. All right, let's look. Knight of Wands, Knight of Air, and Two of Cups. A lot of night energy. With something you felt was always at a distance. The Three of Wands. It's like I feel Two of Pentacles about your ultimate stability. Oh, okay, your ultimate stability. I know I go fast because I feel it so fast. But whatever you went through recently behind you, you were juggling about something you wanted to do with your ultimate stability and the things that you were connected to with love. And you were questioning, well, when is, when is my ship coming in? Or what, what should I do? I really felt a lot of, oh, look who's underneath all that, my Aries with your 10 of cups. And you started feeling like five of pentacles, nothing, feeling isolated, shut out about your wishes. There's a seven of wands, nine of wands. You guys, recently behind you it could be the last six months or a year but whatever you've been through recently behind you if that sounds like your current energies i feel spirit wants me to tell you it's over meaning that hope is all around you right now you're walking into a lot of golden energy in the incoming but i'm gonna look okay king of pentacles your king of success your king of money your king of earth six of cups i'm gonna take it sideways i don't even know why who's this Ace of Wands sideways. That's your Ace, Aries. But I feel you're questioning the things that once fit for you and the things that you were you wanted with your stability. I feel you're going after something new. Ace of Swords. That's a new truth, a new clarity. That's that's new vision. With the Wheel of Fortune. Coming into your current energies, you guys, this is about luck and right timing, about the universe is aligning things for you right now. I feel spirit wants me to tell you to please go after the things you want to feel in harmony with again, whether it's with just life, yourself, a new place to live, a new job, a new relationship, connecting with somebody from the past, whatever. What makes you feel like you're in harmony because it's going to bring you into the sun, all right? because mm -hmm. the knight of wands knight of air recently behind you that's a lot of night energy meaning a lot of drive to go after something the knight of air though i felt you were just like determined to find out whatever information you're going after fighting for going after something you wanted with a lot of determination but i feel recently behind you your ace of wands just was like sideways laying on a fence because coming into your current energies, you guys got the wheel, meaning luck and right timing, wheel of fortune. Right now around you, things are aligning so they can fit. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, I'm fire today. I am, because I can feel these energies. The compass cards. All right, I'm going to use those. That's what I hear in my head right here. This is going to be the strongest incoming energies for the next week to two weeks if it sounds like your current energies and recent past. You know, it's, it's general, so what fits? Here we go. Feel the dreams. Spark. Something's about to get ignited. I have the dragon's lair. The dragon's about to be let out of that ice castle. Oh, shit. And I have storm fields. A new path is being cleared. Ah, this is beautiful, Aries. You guys can start singing that song now for Aries, Spirit Guide, Strongest. Let's see what pops out for Aries, Strongest Incoming. All right. What would you like to show me? I want to do one more shuffle. I'm going to see what pops out. Strongest incoming energies. I know what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> Holy mackerel. You guys got a lot of beautiful things coming in for you. Strongest incoming energies. Thank you, Spirit, for the sign of Aries. Okay. Strongest incoming energies. Thank you, Spirit, for the sign of Aries. Okay, I just want to see who it is. When it jumps out like that and jumps back in, it just, it's like a little message from spirit. That's, how, that, that's just how I read cards and what I feel. You guys, that's the wizard of awareness, the wizard of making things happen. You guys have this energy in the incoming energies. It's a beautiful morning. I mean, you got your wand of spark of hope again, knowing that whatever you create will come into fruition and abundance. You guys are coming into this energy. And there's the dragon's lair. Oh, the dragon's being let out. You guys, this is the same cards under the deck. I shuffled twice. 
Dragon's Lair, Stormfields, a path is being cleared. Aries, so everything can fit, come together. Oh, this is beautiful. Wow, when you when the dragon's lair, your a path is being cleared, your dragon is coming out. The wise dragon. <sighs> I don't want to mess with an Aries, but you guys are coming into this beautiful energy of just light and optimism. I have home. They gave me the sacred pool. And I have it's all wide open, Aries. Everything is wide open for you to create what it is that you want, but it's something you must feel sacred with, meaning you feel that it's a part of your destiny, whether it be a job, a person, a new location, um, doing something different in your life, everything's wide open, but you have to do it with being true to thyself. And I have the big tree with the door in it and you will be home. Oh, I'm loving these energies. Home, our own self of just feeling whole again. They did give me sad embrace. And they gave me commitment, the star. This is what I want to say to you. If there's situations in the incoming energies that once put you in a, in a place of just nothing was possible, you guys are coming back into the place of hope, uh, commitment with things. Everything's about to fit. Spirit wants me to tell you that your path is cleared. The storm fields have blown through. Look at all that beautiful green. But look at this color green, sacred pool about being true to what it is that you want to create and do it with commitment because what's about to be unleashed is there's no stopping you because you're going back to your tree of home and everything is about to come together and you have your wand of anything's possible oh aries i'm loving it i'm gonna get some cards because i'm fired up for you guys <laughs> i am god these are beautiful cards I don't know which deck I'm going to choose. You guys are going to like she has it planned. I truly do not. Four of Pentacles. This is holding on too tight to something. We can say maybe something we thought we wanted. A sad embrace. Spirit is saying, well, you're coming back into the sun, Aries. Because it's going to be a beautiful morning every morning. And you have the power of the chariot, the high priestess, and the king of Pentacles. And you're rebuilding something with a lot of power, strength. Oh, all right. I know this one to the deck. I'm going to put all those beautiful cards back in. I'm going to do some shuffling and let's just see what comes out. Because when you come back into the sun, anything is possible. The five of swords popped out with the ace of pentacles, nine of wands. I feel that there's some things that you need to let go of that still weigh on you from things people have said to you and be, term be determined to get what you want determined magician with the ace of pentacles all right let's go. spirit guides strongest incoming energies please messages for these oracles for my aries what would you like to tell aries today about these oracles incoming strongest messages thank you for the sign of aries thank you anything else I knew it. I knew it. One more for me. Oh, well, okay. Here we go. Nine of Wands. Uh, these are messages to go with these oracles because what you have coming in is a lot of power. And you have your wand of spark of everything is about to fit. I mean, look at these three cards. All right. The Wounded Warrior. This is about you knowing when to finally realize that there's some things worth holding on to and fighting for and there's some that are not because some that are not i don't even know where that came from you're about to be handed a golden opportunity the ace of pentacles we all want this ace a new solid beginning don't hold back out of fear about something i feel the spirit is telling me you're going to get to the top the hierophant and spirit is saying it's just time for you to release the things in your life and the incoming energies that no longer serves you that you've been carrying around for far too long Whatever it is, Spirit said, they want you to let everything go. Come back into your energy of anything is possible again. Here's the Knight of Air, Seven of Swords, and the King of Pentacles, the King of Earth. It's a big king. Oof. You know, I'm, it's Taurus, but I'm doing love at the end. So this is about you and the incoming. This is the king that will get what it wants with money, success, stability. It's got a plan. Very smart king. The Knight of Air and the Seven of Swords is all air energy, meaning that if there's things in your life that you feel can be blocked, 
This is a card of using strategy, you guys, and this is the night of going after it. Oh, as quick energy. You guys are coming into a big king of earth power in the Hierophant. I have the Ten of Cups sideways and the Queen of Love. You guys, this is about your, your ultimate happiness. And the Queen of Love and the Ten of Cups sideways is telling me to tell you that have this love of everything. Be open to everything with love and you will receive. I just feel it. Four of Swords. Well, I don't know how to take you guys. Oh, I see. <laughs> Four of Swords sideways with judgment. You guys, it's, Spirit is saying what you have coming in for you, you have this sense of magic. You just need to hold on to some type of hope and know it's going to happen. Come out of a place of the things that have left you in an energy of just the Four of Swords, meaning laying down the heart and the mind. Spirit is saying it's time to release the things that have been keeping you weighed down with your heart and your mind. Because the last card they gave you, you guys, is the card of triumph six of wands victory so um this is a big energy of just it's a beautiful morning listen i feel this you guys so whatever has been weighing on you spirit is saying it's time for you to let that go open a new door and realize that the sun is shining you have your wand of magic back and anything can happen it's going to happen by june 2nd i just feel it whatever's coming your way right around there June second to the fourth. I don't know what the planetary action is, but let's see what spirit wants to tell you today, and then I'll look at love crossing spirit guides for Aries. Thank you. If you can tell Aries any messages today about this reading, what do you want to tell Aries about this reading today? Thank you, spirit. Thank you. One more card. Okay. <laughs> Seven of Gabriel. Okay, I am going to read these cards in the order I got them. They're right here. Okay, I just the order I take them. First card they gave you is perspective. And this is what spirit guides want to say to you today. There's a better way. Pause for reflection and insight and dare to be different. Oh, well, whatever you're doing, you, you're going to, that's the seven of swords and the knight of swords sideways. Um, I feel like they're telling me if something's going to be blocking you because nothing's stopping you with the king of pentacles, whatever you're going after, dare to be different. Yeah. Anyway, they gave you the page of Gabriel, angel Gabriel. Follow your passions. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities for excitement and adventure. Look at, I just noticed he's got his wand of fire, like right there. I just feel like you're just gonna have this sense of wizard of awareness, things can happen. Last card they gave you is the Four of Raphael. I feel this is kind of a big message for you. Seek out other possibilities. Look for the magic in life. Be aware of your own emotions. I think you guys should be singing that song. And I'm going to read the seven. I don't know why. I just want to. Angel Gabriel is the angel of fire. Stand up for what you believe in. Have confidence. And claim your personal power. The dragon's coming out of the cave. I'm just saying, you know. You guys, this was beautiful. I, I feel that right now, if you've been going through some things that feel like nothing's really moving like you want it to move, you're about to step outside and smile. So this is what I have for you today. I uh, want to thank you for your love and support. I'm rolling into Love Crossing. If you've been dealing with someone and I wish you all a beautiful weekend coming up, Memorial Day weekend. Uh, thank you for everyone who has served our country thank in the U.S. Rolling into love. Have a beautiful day. All right. Let's look at um, Love Crossing. <laughs> I take a gulp. I better take a drink of water. Um. These are the strongest love crossing energies, you guys, meaning they may or may not be all your persons, all right? And love crossing is meaning the person you've been dealing with because some people have been asking what that means. So I have big temperance, Sagittarius energy, somebody who's really standing their ground about something. And I have big Leo energy, power, strength, and someone who's been trusting their intuition because they've been holding back or they feel you've been holding back. Someone holding back here. Because they really, they really love you. I, I just feel like someone's just, 
as my mother would say back in the day, don't cut off your nose to spite your face. <laughs> she preached that to me all the time. All right, spirit guides. Love crossing. Strongest energies my Aries have been dealing with, please. What do I need to see? Thank you. What else would you like to show me? Strongest love crossing. Oh, oh. For the sign of Aries. Thank you. What else do you want to tell me? Thank you. I have the chariot. I can't see her in energy. Hmm. Page of swords. Oh, see, someone's trusting their intuition on something. Like, I have one thinks up and one thinks down in this deck. There's always a reason with the page of swords. Like, they're waiting and watching, Aries. They're waiting and watching. Nine of Swords, because yeah, here it comes, the Knight of Love and Temperance. Uh, this is someone, whoever you've been dealing with, is acting like they really don't care, or they're like, because with Sagittarius Temperance and the Chariot, ooh, that's a lot of will and determination, a lot of patience. I mean, hmm. I have the Magician, Eight of Swords. Should I? Yeah, let's do it. Seven of Cups, Options and Choices, and the Four, I told you. Listen, four of pentacles, seven of cups. I will go over all this. You guys, seven of cups. Hmm. What should I do now? What is it that I really want? But they're acting like this is their energy, but it's not. I'm telling you. I just feel, because I have the magician here. It's somebody who's trying to, this is a person who is trying to create magic. And they're getting all caught up in their head about it because I don't think it's working. One card left. And they can't. This is why. They got the six of cups. You guys, this is a really, you got the Six of Cups, Seven of Cups. You can't break this connection. It's just something, it could be somebody you've known for a long time. This is a card of nostalgia too, memorabilia. This person can't forget you, Aries. I don't care if you haven't heard from him in a while. You can't, it, this connection, it's a shoe that fit. What do I feel is going on with them right now? I think they're just cutting their nose off to spite their face. Now, if you're the cross watcher, I'm sorry, but this is what I feel and this is Aries reading. Some energies can be moved around. Could be Aries being that way, but let's, they're gonna be about to come outside anyway and smile again. So, all right, let's look at um, their intentions. I don't know why I'm going over here, but we're going over here. Well, I got the Hermit. Celtic Cross Tarot Cards, Page of Wands, Judgment. Mm, with the moon, see, they're gonna, this is somebody who I feel, uh, Judgment with the Five of Swords, Hermit with the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like this person is really having some type of answers. <laughs> Ace of Swords, the Three of Pentacles with the King of Cups. Justice, Page of Cups, Ace of Cups. You guys, this is somebody who um, is having their truth and clarity about what it is they want. And I feel it, it's been you all along. Now, I, how long it takes them to move, I don't know, because I did see the Hermit. Spirit Guides, Love Crossing Intentions. Next few weeks, let's see what's coming towards you with Love Intentions. For Aries, Spirit Guides, thank you. Hmm. Strongest Love Intentions for the beautiful sign of Aries. Thank you. Anything else? No. Ten of Cups. Ooh. Ten of Swords. Oh my goodness. Judgment. Um, you guys, in the next few weeks, this person is going to realize that all along you were the one who brought them the ultimate happiness. I think they're getting up is what I'm feeling here. Seven of Cups. Yeah, they are. And then here comes the Page of Wands. I think the only thing that's blocking them is there's been a lot of... Um, energies here too many too many energies too many things in the pot you know what i mean like they're finding their answers about the the conflicts the two of you have had i feel and i feel they're coming in to offer you this giant cup of love because they want to rebuild something back to the triangle of stability they're having too much nighttime anxiety about something in the next few weeks they're coming in aries i got the six of wands with you I'm going to let you know they're coming in and I have the Four of Wands. Gateway's opening. Okay, I've been really nosy. Sorry. Eight of Swords is sideways. 
here comes the king of commitment who's this this is the card that landed on my palm luck and right timing something to change the wheel of fortune okay seven of wands and the four of cups you see it's the same cards they're they realize that they realize that by them standing on their ledge so much they've gotten nothing back in return because i don't think aries plays that way i really don't i feel if you want to come right towards aries you got to come right towards aries and you know anything's possible so this is someone who's going to try to create some magic with you and hoping something can change now but somebody who did you dirty i do apologize you know, I mean, you know, hmm. All right, you guys, uh, anything else? No, I just want to wish you guys a beautiful morning. <laughs> you guys, start singing that song. Oh my God, everything in your life is about to shift. You're coming into the sun. Thank you for viewing me today, Aries. I love you guys, and thank you for all your love and support. I hope this helped you today. If it did, please remember to hit the like button. Thank you. And have a beautiful upcoming weekend, a beautiful next few weeks, and have a beautiful day. Thank you.